Hey guys, this is Grenade Launcher 101 back at it with Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. This is the penthouse mission out in Manhattan, New York City. Um, I don't think there's much to address here, so let's just get to it. So this mission, um, I don't think it's really that hard. There, there is one part that may be tricky to get past, but once we get there, I think I can show you how to maneuver around that. <clears throat> So as soon as he gets by, go right under this light here. Then we can move on from there. Now I think, yep, there's a guard right over there. So, let's get on this wall right here, just to be safe. And I don't think there's that much light when I stick to the wall or rather no light at all so once he turns around get right over here <sighs> now <clears throat> we gotta get over here because once he turns around we have to jump right up here and go to the door then close it afterwards. So just hurry up and open this door right here. Even the door opening animation is slow, but it's all right. Once he turns around, get up this elevator. Then we climb right on this ladder here. Once the elevator starts moving, just 
get right over here, down here. Don't move just yet. You guys can use a sticky camera if you want. But this is the way I do it. I listen for the guy's footstep. And then assume that he like does his pattern the way I assume he does it. Like he goes up to a wall turns at a certain direction, then turns that same direction back to walking. But like I said, you guys can use a sticky camera if you want. You don't have to do it the way I do it. Now here is tricky. guys something about that uh someone just walked into my room here well not really my room but you know what i mean yeah but uh let's just get let's just get back to this yeah No, that that works a lot. I did save right in the same spot that I had to edit things out by the way. So you guys won't have to complain. Alright, so do what I just did in order to like get to the next checkpoint without them spotting you because the way this works out it usually doesn't go like that so you have to do it this way. Low checkpoint. <clears throat> okay. Well, yeah. If you don't get to that doorway as quickly as possible, he will end up turning around and kill you, as you guys just saw there. So let's continue on. Fisher, that's the highest gun if I've ever seen one. He 
He's no night watchman either. He's a merc. He's got the same kit as the guys who were protecting the Serta. This whole situation is getting uglier by the second. See if you can find out who these characters work for. Will do. Fisher, satellite shows you've reached the Casey's building. County Clerk's office has construction permits on file for the floors below the penthouse and in the neighboring structure. So I think these guys have a conversation right here, and then he ends up logging back to the computer. That was stupid. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, um, shit. So just I'll check it out. Do that. Looks like he also filed plans for construction in the next building over. The next building? Before I'm no architect, but if I'm reading these plans right, both buildings are connected across a So like just do that before they finish their conversation because there's no other way to get around him besides them talking in order to get that I think it's a bonus objective right there. But, uh, yeah, that's how you get around him. With that being said, we can continue forward. I'll leave the relevant data on your OSAP. Should help you navigate. Thanks. Now, as for him, we got to be very cautious. Get over here as soon as possible. So you're in the dark. Enter this crawl space. Also, sorry I had to cut that out. So, but like I say, someone walked in, into the bedroom and I had to go and handle it. So, yeah. Anyways. Fisher, Sir Casey's cameras project an infrared beam so they can see in the dark. It's an infrared beam I can see in my night vision. Exactly. And listen, it would help us keep tabs on Zerkazy if we could use these cameras against him. Gotcha. I'll try and run some tabs. So the first camera's right over here. Good work, Fisher. That's one camera tap. There should be five more. I'll keep my eyes open. So this is your side objective for this mission. Tapping the cameras around Sir Casey's penthouse. There's about like 
six of them. That was the first one that I just got. The next one is in a very tricky spot. That I have to get past just as soon as this guy gets by me. Now, <clears throat> I really recommend that you save here because this part can get tricky. You have to not only OCP that light, but also the, uh, depending on where the position of that camera is, OCP that. Then we just get up here with this guy to like buy and just be very careful because he almost hurt me. Where is he going to turn? Will he turn? Will he be that way? Shit. Hold on, I have to get back to you guys. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um I kinda forgot to like save, so the progress took me back to like the previous checkpoint. So um I'm gonna try and not make that mistake again. But uh here we go. So the only way you're gonna get past these guys and to tap that second camera there is the OCP that light right there. Now, once you like OCP the light though, I think you can end up like going through that door right afterwards no there's not a cross space between all right let him get far enough away from here as possible better than I thought it would. So, now that we got past that, there's a third camera we have to tap down the hall. And then there's a fourth one in the same room at the end of the hall. Then there's a couple more upstairs. Just wait for him to turn around, then we can continue forward. Now, be careful with this one because it'll only be OCP for like a short time, and 
Considering the fact that it's pointing right in the middle of the hall, you kind of have to do this anyway. So just hurry up, tap this camera. And as soon as you get, as soon as you get it tapped, get right on this wall here. Then I'll see here again. Now, this part can get tricky right here because when you go through that door, the the enemy in the, in the door will not only see you, but you kind of have to make a maneuver plan just so you can get to that camera and tap it before the enemy sees you right in that spot. So it may take me, try, me multiple tries, it may take you multiple tries depending on your situation. So let's do this. That was not supposed to fucking do that that early. I don't know what the hell happened there, but that was not supposed to come back on that early. Okay. I need to think of a strategy so that he doesn't see me when I tap the camera. I don't think I was able to tap this one. Shit. Let me just try that again. Now I do feel a bit paranoid. Alright, this is getting annoying. Okay, I think I know what to do now. I 
So that's going to get him distracted while I tap this camera. All clear. So now, go right up here to this pole before the camera sees you. Because if you get in its crossfires, it will set an alarm off. Now get over here. And I think getting up the stairs is a tricky part because the camera can still see you when you go up the stairs. Alright, here we go. That pretty much confirms it. These records show Sir Casey has a long history of transactions with the MCAS Bank in Panama. Is he the one who shipped the arms from the Certus Goons? It doesn't matter much now. We'll need to bring him in for a chat either way. Alright. Oh yeah. And I forgot to introduce that as well. So most of you have already played Chaos Theory, but Good work, Fisher. That's four of six cameras tapped. I'll keep an eye out for the other two. How are there only four? It makes no sense. I took care of that camera downstairs. What? Okay, anyway, I'll have to deal with that. We have to grab him to interrogate him about a couple of things. One being, uh, you'll just see in a second. Pick a number between one and ten. Uh, one. Oh, oh, crap. Uh, three. Fucking uh, guess. You get the lift. Now tell me something useful or we'll play another round. Oh, uh, God. Uh, uh, it's the mag lock. Maybe you should talk. 
cock before I sneeze and accidentally cut your throat. Oh, God. I'll tell you what you do. Good. Start with your boss. What's his name? Medic. My law, the Medic. He's in charge of all our VIP protection contracts. And how many of those under his protection has he killed in the last, say, six weeks? Hold on. Alright, so since that's the case, might have to go back down and deal with it again. I thought I would have tapped that camera, but I mean, you guys saw that I did. So, maybe I did something to make it not go through all the way. So in that case, I had to try this all over again. just to keep the camera from seeing me. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Okay, I may have to get back to you guys here. Alright guys, um, just wanted to show you guys real quick a retry of that 
fourth camera I need to tap. Who's that? There's something down there. Now when tapping this camera, do not do anything while it's in the process because it can end up screwing you over in a way, I guess. But uh as long as you OCP that TV, this guy will get distracted and stay that way. So don't do anything while it's in the process of tapping the camera. Just let it, the process happen. And then bam, you got your camera tapped. So just wanted to show you guys that real quick. So I'll be back once I, I'll be back once I pick up where I left off. All right, guys, I'm back. So, <clears throat> so getting past him will be a little tricky, but uh, as well. But he's not. Well, because I distracted him like two times already, he might feel a bit uneasy for a third time. But, uh, what you're going to do here is just OCP that TV. <clears throat> Jeffrey, no. What's wrong now? And then he'll get up. And as soon as he gets up, open this door. Get out of here right now. And that was not supposed to happen. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. <clears throat> You're supposed to, like... <clears throat> He's supposed to not see me. That's the point of what I'm trying to do here when I OCP that TV and go through the door. So, you know what? I'm going to... Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> I know this works. I know it does. <clears throat> I have tried it before. 
It definitely works. Why it's not working, I have no idea. Okay. Don't mind me, just hashing things out. Okay. But you know what? I'm going to save here. Because I don't want to have to, like, constantly go down the stairs all over again. No, you didn't. Oh my god. Stop saying that you saw me. Alright, let me get back to you guys. Alright, I think I got things figured out here. Stupid damn thing is broken. Bruh, how do you see me? I don't understand. Every time that door is open, he ends up seeing me. It's annoying. Cable. Alright. Things are good now. Alright guys, sorry about that. Someone walked into my walked into the room again. But uh we shouldn't have any more interruptions from here on out. So let's continue forward. So I think getting around these guys is a is real tricky. <clears throat> so um I'm gonna try my best to see what I can do.
So that worked out pretty well. Now this guy on the other hand, I have to like <clears throat> find a way around him. Well, you can get around him, but it's very like time consuming. So you have to have a lot of patience with him. Here we go. At some point, he does go through that door. Once he goes through that door, we have the OCP, that camera right there. So he, so the camera does not see us and set off an alarm when we go up these stairs. I'm just gonna wait very, very patiently. Alright, goes through the door. Now we can OCP that light right there. Let's save here just in case something goes wrong. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so something definitely went wrong there. Maybe he got back just in time. So I say we go up here first, see if that does us anything. I'm just stuck, I guess. Unless he moves. Here, which might happen very slowly. Here we go. All right, so over here, um, so you know that uh, if you guys have played Chaos Theory, you remember in this mission where. There's a certain guy supervising Dvorak. Well, in here you have to knock him out. Otherwise, it takes your percentage away. I don't know why it is. It's very weird. It's some type of glitch on their part. But we have to get it done and over with. 
but first I'm gonna make sure I don't think he comes through here Start this up. And do this whole process thing here. Fisher, what are you doing? I've seen these things before. This is a finite state machine. It is. All right, I got the stack. Good work, Fisher. Complete the rest of your objectives and proceed to extraction. On my way. Yeah. Looks like Dvorak is just the encoded innards of a 50-year-old scrap. No wonder I couldn't hack it. Doesn't even speak the same language. I'm going to try and reinitialize the machine and retrieve an output stack for analysis. Gotcha. So, oh, I... Would, if you feel paranoid about knocking him out with the smoke grenade, I wouldn't recommend saving here. Just to be sure that he didn't, you know, actually see you. Because it can still be very weird. And still, like, take your percentage away. But... I'm just going to save here regardless. I know for a fact that <clears throat> he did not see me in the smoke. So getting around him while he goes down the stairs is definitely tricky. So you guys saw what I just did there. <clears throat> I obviously like took to the sides here and waited for his waited for his patrol pattern. <sighs> Alright, I'm just going to like get this over with because I'm sick and tired of all the interruptions at this point and I'm sure you guys are too We're going to save here as well.
I'm going to sit still here. We're going to wait for him again. Now just wait until he turns around. <clears throat> Extraction is just right there in the elevator. But before actually extracting, let's do this real quick. You want to make sure that near enemy down there, because this is the elevator that they're both working on, that one of the enemy down there, like you know. The room where you had to like get the file and whatnot right in the beginning of this checkpoint. This elevator is part of that room. You want to make sure no one is there. I'm going to quick save just in case anything goes wrong, which it shouldn't. Because it has happened to me before. And whether it happens to you or not is hard to say. But. I would really recommend you stay here just in case. Well, um, it didn't turn out as well as I expected, although. The guy supervising Devorah did not see me, so uh, I'm going to get back to you guys and see if I can figure out anything. Alright guys, I've had plenty to figure things out, so I'm hoping that's just, that this will do us justice. So here we go. Yes! Alrighty then. All right. Well, that was all the objectives there, ladies and gentlemen. And the architectural plan was a bonus objective, which I did not realize. And nobody but one person knocked out. And uh, it's hard to say which one, which enemy is counted because I did knock out that one guy that we need to inter that we needed to interrogate about what was going on with like things about Zerkazy, Displace, Violent Edge, all the names popping up in this mission. And then there was the other guy who was supervising Dvorak. He may have counted. I'm not sure who it could have been. Most likely it could have been the guy Supervising Dvorak, but either way You need to knock him out in order to get a hundred percent rating. Otherwise if you don't it'll fuck you over but that is Mission four guys um If you want If you want to see more of my content There's always the original spoiler cell and Pandora tomorrow for the ps2 you guys can go and watch those if you want. 
some of those videos are probably not professionally done, but regardless, it should be entertaining in a way. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If this has helped you in some sort of way, you're welcome. Now, as always, this is Grenade Launcher 101 signing off.